Do you have money? I don't have money. Huh? I don't have money. Nothing. Nothing. Zero. Zero. How much do you have? I will under him 1.2. 1.2. Yes. Give me all of it. Okay, thank you, Grandpa. Eh? I'll do that transaction. Now right. wait, I'll tell you why. Yeah, yes, because I saw you in the spirit. Oh yes. It's as if we were standing here, but we are not in this location. Oh, yes. It's like God removed everybody from this location. Oh, yes. And I saw him standing like this. Oh, and yes. I saw health personnel around him. Oh, yes, grandfather. And he was standing like this, wearing a uniform of a health personnel. Yes, grandfather, it's true. I'm a nurse by profession, grandfather. This is a nurse. Oh, yes. Huh? Yes, they You're a nurse. Okay, just pause. Before you continue listening, I have a concern. How do a small boy like this qualify to be called grandpa? And I can see in his audience, they're actually women of age, men of age, that are probably qualified to be his grandparents. But all of them, they are calling this small clown, this small little boy, grandpa. But what is wrong with you people? How did you get here? How did it happen? Please make it make sense. These kids that drop out of school are the ones that you, you hold in high esteem and call them our spiritual fathers, our granddaddies. If you have a spiritual father, please, I want you to go to the mirror. Look at yourself and say, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm a certified idiot because that's what you really are. That's, I, have, I don't have any other way to describe you. I do not know how to politely label you or characterize you. Sometimes we just have to show you hard love. You are an idiot in a Nigerian accent. That's what you are. You are a mugo. These small boys, daddy, granddaddy. What's wrong with you people? Okay, continue listening. Right now, as I'm talking to you, there oh, is yes. limitation. Nothing is moving in your life. Very true, grandfather. And your prayer was, if the prophet can locate me today, I know my life is sorted that out. That was my ways in the morning, grandfather. Huh? I said that. I didn't told her, grandfather. You I said it I, in the morning. Exactly, grandfather. Uh, you I told said who? that. He told me this He told morning. you? Yes. Hey. Parava. Who is, who is she? Who is she? Doing? No, she's, she's my sister. Your sister? Yes. I saw an arrow. It's as if this arrow left this location and went to an, a place called Serowe. Serowe. Oh, yes, I'm from, I'm from Serowe. Grandfather. You're from Serowe. Oh, yes. God taught me all the money that you have left. Give it to me. I'll do that, Grandfather. I'll do that now. In a few weeks. Oh, yes. You'll be shocked. I'll do that. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, this thing requires oh, yes. revelation. So the small boy goes on to continue to say, give me everything that you have. So that you have a breakthrough in the medical field. Give me the 1,200. Yes, granddad. I'm going to do it instantly. Before I came here, granddad, I was actually hoping that you, you, you locate me. Your grace and anointing locates me. Ha! Religion. Sometimes I just think it's, it's stupidity. I understand, you know, my message and the way I address these things might come across to you as offensive. But we are tired. Our tired is tired. How do you justify this nonsense? So do you actually think that this boy hears from God or this kid is hearing from God to a point whereby you can call him granddad? To a point whereby you can go and withdraw the little 1,200 that you are left with and give it to him, transfer it to him, so that you can encounter a breakthrough. My African people, what is wrong? What is wrong with you? But I don't sympathize with them. It's okay. Let them be taken for a ride. Let them be dribbled. Because they don't listen. We talk about these things as often as we possibly can. They don't listen. They say we have a carnal mind. We don't have the spirit of discernment. Where is the spirit of discernment here? When you are giving your 1,000, <laughs> your last cent to this little boy that is probably going to spend calling Oloshos to BNBs because that's what they do with the money that you give them. All the money you give them, they call Oloshos. They spend it on these Im immoral activities. If it's not weed, it's alcohol. If it's not alcohol, it's Oloshos. These kids are a disgrace. If I could get an opportunity, I will line them up and start slapping each and every one of them, one by one, until 
They stop all this con artist. My people, wake the hell up. Stop sleeping. Wake the hell up. You don't need these clowns in your lives. You don't need these baby clowns in your lives. You don't. They are unnecessary. These are purebred criminals. Well-decorated, little baby charlatans that are just insulated by the Constitution. Because religion on its own, it has legalized crime. Because this is crime that is being you know, displayed. Follow them at your own peril. I'm Mr. PDT. Check you out on the next episode of the Enlightenment series. And I'm out.